below. Everybody, Ninja Fox in game here to teach you how to make the most secret redstone door ever. If you're wondering about the team deathmatch video, I'll answer that at the end. I'm at the entrance to my base, even though it may not look like it. Drop some sticks and boom. Boom. Boom! There we go, I'm on the other side. Now you can see all the redstone. Want to learn how this whole thing works? Well, I hope so, cause you're about to. Okay, as you can see here, I've built the mold this redstone door is gonna be made out of. Just go through this hole and place a chest to the side of you. Then crouch and place a hopper going into the chest. Then place a block on top of the hopper. Next, place a rail on top of the block and put down a minecart with a hopper in it. Then break the block under the minecart. Now come around and place an observer facing the chest. Okay, now cover up the hole. The reason this works is because the minecart with a hopper in it can pick up items dropped even through a block. It is then transferred to the hopper and then the chest. The observer sees the chest has been updated and sends a redstone signal through the redstone we're about to place. Okay, now place redstone down. About three blocks should be good. Be gone, donkey! Okay, now place these blocks with redstone on them going up. Then place two sticky pistons one block away from the block you want them to move. Make a place for redstone to connect to the pistons. There needs to be about five blocks out level to place the redstone torch and block. Place the block down on the second block coming up. Then place the torch on the side of the redstone going to the pistons. Follow redstone all the way to the pistons and boom, the pistons extend. Now, come onto the other side of the doors and drop an item. Then, attempt to go through the doors. The door will open and shut for each item dropped so you can still get back through. Or, or not. Anyway, that's how you build a super secret door. Okay guys, sorry for the long break in between videos. The team deathmatch game was on central standardized time, which is two hours ahead for me, and I missed the game. Hopefully I will play when they do it again, and I'll have a video for you. As for good news, my latest video blew up on a small scale, which is great. In the meantime, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Ninja Fox.